Hi guys, welcome back and excuse the glowing face. I am just so hot sitting here with this big light in front of me at the moment. It's boiling outside for some reason, the weather's gone back to being hot. But anyway, today's video is about school again and I'm gonna be sharing with you the things that I got for James to start nursery school. I thought it was a great idea when someone mentioned in the comments of my previous video, which was all about back to school and starting school nerves for parents, which I'll leave linked below because I'm not originally from the UK, so I had no idea what to get. I've never been a student here. I've never kind of ever been in a school, like a preschool, um, primary school, secondary school in this country. So I had no idea what to get. When it came time to get all the school stuff for James, I was just so out of my depth and didn't even know like the basic things and what colors you get and stuff. So maybe if you're watching this video and you're like me, you have no idea. Maybe your family is from abroad and you now have children here in the UK. You might find this video interesting or helpful in some way. If you're new around here, my name is Aziz. I'm originally from Brazil. I've been living in the UK for the last eight years, I think. Yeah, eight years. And I have a three-year-old son and a one-year-old daughter. If you like my channel, then please do subscribe and stick around to see some more videos from me. And now let's get started. So I'm gonna start showing you the thing that I bought first, which was James's school bag. I actually bought this in a caravan park that we stayed in Tembe here in South Wales. So I don't know if you can get it somewhere else. I will definitely look for it online and leave a link below if I can find it. But it takes all the boxes for me. It's very lightweight. It has a side pocket, which is something that was recommended to me by my friends because you can put a drink for them in the side pocket. And it's not too big and bulky, but it's big enough for everything that he'll need to take with him. I did get another bag, which was a Thomas the Tank bag from MS, and it just it didn't have the side pocket. It was much smaller than this. So I'm gonna return that one and keep this one. If you can hear kids screaming, the kids are downstairs playing with Matthew. So if there's any screams, that's what it is. So moving on to school uniform, I'm only gonna show you the stuff that I picked up from High Street and supermarkets because we have a local shop that sells the school jumper with the logo of the school embroidered and the polo shirt. So, you know, that will be local to whatever school your child is going to. So shoes. First I went to Next, so Next was my first stop for everything and then I went to Tesco f and and I got these shoes from Next. I like that they're Velcro because it's easy for him to do it on and off and these felt like the most comfortable without being too bulky. They didn't have that in James's current size which is a size 8 so I got this in a size 9 and I was still feeling like this is going to be a little bit too big for him because he's not a size 9 yet. So when I was in Tesco I spotted these and I've actually spotted that they left the security tag which means that I'm going to have to go back to get that <laughs> removed. I spotted these in a size 8 so quite similar but these ones look a little bit more rugged and like they're going to withstand a toddler a little bit more although I like the style of these more I think this will be a little bit more durable and this is in a size 8 which is his current size so he'll be able to wear it straight away I like that it had this rubber thing at the front here because it just makes it more durable and this one lights up as well so as you can see there it's flashing and kids love anything like that don't they so this one was how much was this this was 17 pounds I don't know if this is real leather I don't actually know if this one is real leather because it doesn't say, but it was slightly cheaper than the next one. So these are the school shoes I got for him. I think I might keep this one because he will be a size nine at one point or another. So I'll keep that one, but this will be the one that he's gonna start with. And then for school trousers, so again, we started with Next and then we moved on to Tesco. I wish I'd gone to Tesco first because it would have saved me a big shopping trip to return things. So I'll show you the Next trousers that I got. So I got the formal slim leg for him and he has to wear dark grey trousers and it fitted him really well. This was, how much was this? Eight pounds for age four and it fitted, really nice fit. And the um, closure is that kind of formal trouser closure, which I wasn't too happy about because I think it's gonna be really difficult for him to put on and off. And then when I left the store, I realized that I actually needed a spare one. So I went back into Next and I picked up this front flat adjustable waist to slim, slim fit in the same size and this was eight pounds as well. So it's slightly different, but it has the same sort of closure here. I can't really see that much of a difference between this is the front flat and this is the slim fit 
trousers. Actually, looking at it, I can now. This one is really flat at the front. So these are the trousers I got him from Next. And then in Tesco, I spotted these trousers, which is just a simple pull on, pull up and pull down. Trousers, much easier for him to wear. And it fits really nicely as well. So I got this in a size three to four. And I actually removed the tag, so I don't know how much this was. I'll try and find and I'll put the price here on the screen. So I got two. This came as a part, uh, a two set, so it was much cheaper than the next one. And yeah, so I'll put the two of them next to each other so you can compare. This is the next trousers and these are the Tesco ones. Quality wise, I think that the next ones feel a little bit thicker, but the Tesco ones just look perfectly fine. So I'm actually going to return the next ones and keep the Tesco ones just because I think it will be much easier for him to wear these ones and to be able to pull them up and down if he needs to go to the toilet and stuff like that. For school shorts I got them from Next as well and I got this one which I'm not too happy about. I did try and find the same one in Tesco but they didn't have it in James's size so this one was five pounds and then for the spare one I went for one with a popper closure which is easier and it has um, these pockets on the side and a zip pocket here at the front. If he doesn't get on with them, I can always pick up a different pair of shorts somewhere else, but these are the ones that I got. And they were, yeah, one was five pounds, the other one at the pockets was six pounds. And then for PE, he just needs a plain white t-shirt and black shorts. So I got two white t-shirts from Next for him, and this was a two pack for four pounds 50. Um, nothing special about them. And then I got two sh black shorts from Matalan and they were four pounds. So that's the P outfit. And that is it. That is pretty much everything I got. I was thinking about buying labels so that I could sew them on his clothes and his bag and his shoes and stuff. But I think I might just permanent marker, you know, his name and everything and just do it like that. But I don't know. If you know like of a nice label company that's not too expensive, then please do let me know in the comments below and I'll check it out because I'm still toying with the idea. I don't want to ruin his clothes by, you know, damaging it somehow with permanent marker. So do let me know. And I'm not very good at sewing. So anything that I could just stick to his clothes and wouldn't come off in the wash would be great. And yeah, that's about it. That's everything I got. I hope this video was interesting or helpful if you're looking to buy school uniform and you don't even know what you need or where to start. Obviously different schools have different uniforms and different requirements. So do check with your school what you're going to need. And if you have a girl, obviously you're gonna need different things, tights and skirts and stuff, which is all the fun and games that I'm gonna have in a few, year in a few years time with Isabella. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you liked it and don't forget to share it with your friends, especially if they have children who are just starting nursery and you think that they might benefit from seeing this video. If you're not subscribed already, please do hit the subscribe button. You get notifications whenever there's a new video from me and I upload every week, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Let me know how you're all doing with your back to school organization. If you've got everything, if you still have things to get, leave a comment below and tell me. Hope you're all doing well and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.